Hi, this is Lindsay Klein, and today we're talking about um, when you're lonely, Jesus rescues. And what we're going to do is we're going to make some sheep because there is a parable in uh, Luke chapter 15 that deals with sheep. And what it says is Jesus has a whole, or if a shepherd has a whole flock of sheep, even if one gets away, he still goes to find that one. That every single person that what that he has in his flock are important and every single sheep is important. So even this one that's all far away is, um, is important. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw some sheep today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off and you can either use a pencil or a marker. I'm gonna use a black Sharpie and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a hill for my sheep to live on. So I'm gonna do like this. And I'm going to draw a bunch of sheep. You can draw anywhere between I don't know, five and 10 sheep. I'm gonna draw one big to start with and then draw some littler ones. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make their bodies look like clouds, like this. So I'm going to, like this, make some clouds and I can make some smaller. Um, the ones that are farther away can be a little bit smaller. And I can make a baby to go with a mama like this, so I can make some smaller ones up front. Um, and then maybe I wanna make another big one. And maybe one over here. So it looks like I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sheep. I think I need one more over here, eight. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put heads and ears and eyes and tails and feet on them. So I'm gonna start out with their heads that look like this. And then I'm gonna give them an ear that hangs down and an eye, so he's facing this way. And I'm gonna give him a little tail off the back. And then I'm going to give him some hooves. He has hard feet like a horse does or a cow. So I'm gonna give him one foot and then I'm gonna hide this one so that it's behind it. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the back because they have four feet, so like this. And this one's gonna be the mama and this one's gonna be the baby. So then I'm gonna give him four feet also. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna give him a little tail. And I'm gonna give this one a head and a tail, or and a, a, some feet. A little tail. And I'm gonna do that for all my sheep. Oh, got kind of a little head, didn't he? Probably could have gotten a bigger one, but that's okay. Uh, let's see, this one's gonna go this way. Ear, eye, and I have to face his feet the right way. That would be silly if his feet went the wrong way. Like this, this guy's gonna face this way. Ear, eye, and then let's see, his feet go this way. And up over here, I'm going to do his head this way. And then in a second, what happens is the parable says that the, the shepherd, oops, I forgot a tail on here. Um, the shepherd goes to get every single one of his sheep. All of the sheep are important. So even if one runs away, he's going to go and try and find it because he, wa he wants to have all of his sheep. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put another hill over here that's far away, and we're gonna do our last little sheep over here. So we remember that Jesus finds all of us, that all of us are important. And I'm gonna put my last little sheep over here, make him small, his head and his eye. I don't even know if I can draw an ear in there because it's kind of small, which is okay. You can pretend. So I'm gonna put my feet on there. And then I'm gonna put a sun in the sky because I like it when it's nice and sunny. I have to tell you that I don't like corner suns. They kind of make me crazy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a whole circle sun like this. And then I'm going to put the points on the sun, which is just like triangles. Like this. Like that in the sky. Now, what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to color my paper and I've already colored it, so I'm just gonna move this one in over here like this. Ta-da! Um, but I've already colored this one, so I'm gonna use this one, and then I thought, if you'd like, because sheep are fuzzy and furry, right? So I can get my glue, and I found some cotton balls. So what I can do is I can 
put some cotton on my sheep. So what I would do for this big one, he might use more of a cotton ball than the others, but like this one is kind of tiny. So I'll put a little bit of glue in there like this. So I'll put some glue on here and then I might tear off and I'm not going to put any on his tail or his head or his feet because um, that's just a little bit too much. So I'm just going to tear off a little piece of cotton and I'm going to put it right there on my on my sheep like this. So on this one, I'm going to tear off some and I can kind of pull it apart like this to make it spread out and then put some on my sheep. And then I'm going to put some more glue like this. I can do a couple at a time. Spread out your glue a little bit better than just a little dot because the, then it'll stick better. So I can put some um, cotton here for my sheep. Put some cotton here. Put some here. And I need a little bit more glue. And then some of my sheep that got all the way away that Jesus is going to bring back for us. So there we go that looks like I might need one more cotton ball so I did the whole thing with two cotton balls so that's pretty good I don't need very many some on this sheep and I'm going to put some on this sheep so there you go there is my picture of the sheep and it reminds us that Jesus always looks out for everyone bye guys